All right, so one of the biggest complaints I have about the Kia Telluride is this. And I've had the car for about three months, put almost 5,000 miles on the car so far, um, 4,666 miles. And, uh, and yeah, there are times when you are in snow mode where the car is not responsive. Like you hit the gas pedal and the car doesn't go. And so that's a major problem. Huge problem. It happened to me multiple times, happened to my wife like four or five times. One of the times it happened to us, we were in the middle of an intersection turning left, like waiting for traffic to have a gap, and turn left, car kind of rolled to a stop, hitting the gas pedal, car wouldn't move at all, RPMs wouldn't go up, so we're just stopped sideways in the intersection. Cars are going around us, almost hitting us, honking their horns, um, that sort of thing. But I take the car to Kia, for, for the first oil change, I was like, hey, uh, like here's this issue. And they said, yeah, you can bring it in in about a week or so and we'll look it over. But if there's no error codes or check engine lights on the dash, we don't know what you want us to do. Like, I was like, well, I don't know either, but there's obviously a problem and, and it needs to be fixed because that's kind of a safety issue, right? And, and to begin with, like, it doesn't matter what mode you're in, the gas pedal is very slow to be responsive anyways. Like it's almost delayed or something. I don't know what's going on with it. I can live with that. But in the snow mode, there are times where it's just completely unresponsive, which is a problem. So I took the car to Kia about a week later. They did a test drive, they looked it over and they're like, yeah, we can't find anything wrong with it. And so and at the end of the day, they're like, we've gotten similar complaints from other people. We've kind of looked up on the forms, we've checked with Kia and stuff, and it sounds like this is a normal thing. Uh, just make sure you're driving the car in snow mode only when there's like a fair amount of snow on the road. And in my mind, I'm like, there, there should be no situation where it's normal for the gas pedal to not respond at all in a vehicle unless it's in park, <laughs> right? I mean, even in neutral, the RPMs go up a little bit. So it's like, when nothing is responsive, that is not normal and that should not happen no matter what mode you're in. And so, and and the other thing is, is obviously you're not gonna drive in snow mode unless there's snow. There is snow on the ground when we use snow mode and that makes it even worse because when it doesn't respond, other cars are sliding and need a little bit of a longer braking distance and stuff like that if you're in the way. Uh, my wife had to pull over on the freeway once just to the side because the car randomly stopped responding. And so, I don't know, major complaint I have, the technician at Kia was actually super cool and agreed with me on everything. He's like, yeah, there's no reason why a car should not be responsive, but that's just what I've been told. So maybe try to record it next time it happens. Maybe uh, put a dash cam in the car that you can record it with or something um, and bring that footage in that they can basically send up the chain. But from looking up online, this is a common thing that people are, uh, that people are, are having an issue with, with the Telluride. And it sounds like everyone's kind of gotten the same response from Kia, which is not really anything or any way to fix it. So huge bummer. I don't like that. Uh, I mean, I'm a pretty laid back person, but I do feel like that's a pretty big safety concern if the car just randomly is not responsive in snow mode, which you're obviously using in winter conditions and you're just gonna cause problems on the road even more so. So that's my rant, that's my two cents. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. I guess we'll see next time it snows if uh, I can get it to happen and record it or not. So that's the update.